Pump Direction Arrows, last updated October 31st, 2024. So this is a mod that is an enhancement to existing blocks, to the vanilla blocks. So it does not change any stats or anything like that. All it does is add the arrows, as you can see here, the out arrows and the in arrows to the pumps. So now you can easily see when you place it, which way you are placing it. This one has always been a pain, right? The little guy, you can never tell which was the power, which was the in and the out water. So that's a cool one. Uh, we've got the uh, impeller pump. We've got the hand pump showing you which way the water is flowing. Again, another pump showing the water flowing and the engine pump showing you which way. Very, very useful. So these do not, again, change any stats. All they do is place the arrows on your vanilla game. This is a very good mod. This is an enhancement to the existing gameplay without changing any functionality. You can download it using the link below. Remove invisible hitboxes are posted November 3rd, 2024. Last updated November 5th, 2024. So what this mod does is change a lot of hitboxes, or in fact, all of these items listed here. And I'm not going to show you all these items, but I am going to show you an example of what it does and why you probably want this mod. Let's jump into the editor. Jumping into the editor, I have the panel. This one is our original vanilla panel. These are the brand new panels. You see when I hover over this that the hitbox is now behind it. This one, there is no hitbox. And this one, there is no hitbox. So let's find out why. So let me show you what this is doing by using blocks. So this is our vanilla one. If I go like this, you'll see that I can't place a block in front. Now this one, I can place the block in front, but not the block in back. And this one, what can we do? We can place the blocks all the way around, even on top. Of course, we can do a top of these as well, just to show you that. And this last one, we can place all around and on top as well. So you might be wondering, what is this doing to allow this? And why does this one have a hitbox behind? Let me get these cleaned up again, like magic, the undo. And let's go into composite mode. So this is our default block. It has the out and the in and the hitbox is in front. This one swaps it so that the out is in the middle and the in is behind it instead of in front of it, which makes the hitbox come back here. Now these only have an in, so it's letting you use dials if you want or anything that goes in like lights or whatever. And then on this one, we've got out. So this would be used for only buttons and switches. Okay, so it gives you the option to do these three ways. So sometimes you don't need both in and out. And so in that case, you could use one of these, or if you really need in and out, you'll just make space behind it. And then you can do stuff like this. So I could grab this and now I could place it on the side there. Or even if I wanted to do something like this, I can't place it without the, the back one. I could place it like this. And now I've got that. Or if I really didn't want that block down there, I could grab this one, which is, I think, an in. What is this? Yeah, it's an in. And I could have my displays down there. And then, see, I've got all my things here, all next to each other, without the hitboxes. So in the case of a light machine gun, there was a hitbox on the side here. And now there is no hitbox on the side. So he was able to overwrite that hitbox was just was placed there by GM Editor for whatever reason. And so if we go in here and we put this here, you'll see there is the hitbox here with the barrel. Now this gun has been slightly altered and it is a new version of the original that does have the hitbox on the side removed. But I believe if we come to the front of the gun, it's gonna be able to go through here. So we're gonna be able to put our barrel inside the wing of a plane or something like that. So the hitbox can be hidden all the way like that. So that's the difference. This is the original. Hitbox on the side removed, the barrel still has a hitbox. In the case of this one, he's removed the hitbox so you can bury your guns inside of a wing or whatever. And you can do that. In the case of the bed, you can see that the old beds had a giant hitbox so that you could not <laughs> stack these like this. In fact, it was quite frustrating because if you had like a roof, say, if you had a roof like this, you could never, could never have a bunk bed that was very tight. It was like three blocks up or something. I don't even know how big a block it was. But if you want to find these, the author does use the RH tag for his blocks. 
So if we look at these, remove hitbox, you can see that it has the uh, bracket RH bracket space seat. And so you'll be able to easily find out which of these are made by the RH guy. So remove hitboxes, you can use it using the download link below.